math is one of the most important ancient Egyptian deities, a goddess of truth, order, harmony, balance, morality, justice, and love. Mat was honored and beloved throughout most ancient Egyptian kingdoms. Math was the core principle of ethics and morality in most Egyptian societies. According to Math, Egyptians were expected to always be truthful and to act with the honor in all matters that involved their families, social circles, their environment, their nation and rulers, and their worship of the gods. Math was also viewed as the wife of the god Thoth, himself a god of wisdom, writing, hieroglyphics, and science. Thoth was also sometimes said to be the husband of the goddess Sashat, a minor goddess of writing, but he was mostly connected with Maat. My interpretation is that this relationship represents the link between ethics and wisdom. I have not committed sin, I have not committed robbery with the violence. I have not stolen, I have not slain men and women, I have not stolen food, I have not swindled offerings, I have not stolen from God, I have not told lies, I have not carried away food, I have not cursed. I have not closed my ears to truth. I have not committed adultery. I have not made anyone cry. I have not felt sorrow without reason. I have not assaulted anyone. I am not deceitful. I have not stolen anyone's land. I have not been an eavesdropper. I have not falsely accused anyone. I have not been angry without reason. I have not seduced anyone's wife. I have not polluted myself. I have not terrorized anyone. I have not disobeyed the law. I have not been excessively angry. I have not cursed God. I have not behaved with the violence. I have not caused disruption of peace. I have not acted hastily or without thought. I have not overstepped my boundaries of concern. I have not exaggerated my words when speaking. I have not worked evil. I have not used 
evil thoughts, words, or deeds. I have not polluted the water. I have not spoken angrily or arrogantly. I have not cursed anyone in thought, word, or deed belonging to God. I have not placed myself on a pedestal. I have not stolen that which belongs to God. I have not stolen from or disrespected the deceased. I have not taken food from a child. I have not acted with insolence. I have not destroyed property. It was Anubis's job to embalm the bodies of the deceased and wrap them in bandages. Then Osiris would place their heart on a scale against Mat's feather of truth. Mat's ostrich feather was the tool Osiris used in the Hall of Truth to judge the souls of the deceased of their worthiness. The heart was said to be the organ carrying the human soul. That's why the priests and servants of Anubis would remove all the other organs from the deceased's body during the mummification process, with the exception of the heart. Then, their soul would be allowed to pass through the lily lake and into the field of reeds at a paradise. If the heart of the deceased was found to be heavier than Matt's feather of truth, the heart which represents the soul would be devoured by the demon Amit. Their soul would cease to exist and consequently not enter into the afterlife. Ma was the cosmic harmony that connects everything. She keeps the entire world from going back into her brothers. Its fat hands. He is the counterpart of Mat, representing chaos, disorder, disharmony, evil, and deception. He was one of the judges of the weighing of the heart ceremony, where he would check the scales for the outcome. Mat can be involved in rituals related to justice, uncovering secrets, truth, and trustworthiness.